five learners, ayan, welcome sa ating Itulay online tutorial in the convenience of your own TV screen. Yes, tama po ang inyong narinig sapagkat hangad namin na maitulay at matawid at maabot ang lahat ng mga nanonood natin ngayon. Kaya naman po, tayo po ay mapapanood na rin sa ating mga television. Hindi po ba, Tutor Maha? Tama ka dyan, Tutor Lop. Muli po, pinewelcome natin ang ating mga estudyante, ang ating mga kapwa magulang at ang ating mga kapwa guro upang patuloy tayo natutukan dito sa ating DepEd TV Itulay online tutorial. Yes, at ako nga po muli si Tutor Love mula sa SDO Alongapo City na nagsasabing today is another lovely day to learn science. At ako naman si Tutor Maha na mula naman sa SDO Malolos na nagsasabi sa inyo na sa science, ikay maha, halina, saka namang aming daladala. Yeah. Ayan, tama, Tutor Love. And our topic for today is all about modes of reproduction in animals. I-ready na ang inyong mga module, ballpen yeah. at papel upang masundan nyo kami ni Tutor Love. But before we continue, let's have first a quick review from our previous lesson through Sai Balik Tanaw. Last week, pinag-aralan natin ang tungkol sa menstruation. And menstruation is woman's monthly bleeding or discharge of blood. It blows from the uterus through the cervix and passes out of the female's body through the vagina. It can last from 3 to 5 days. The average menstrual cycle can reach from 21 to 45 days. And alam naman natin na pag-aralan din natin last time that menstruation has four different phases o yung ating menstrual cycle ay may apat na phases. Now, day 1 to 5 is what we call the menstrual phase. In this stage, the thick lining of the uterus will shed off and will be eliminated from the body as a menstrual blood. Remember, the first day of menstruation is the first day of the menstrual cycle. And for day 6 to 10 is the follicular phase wherein it is the repair, the uterine lining, and the development period for an egg to mature. Yes, tama ka doon, Shooter Maha. And when it comes to day 11 to 18, we call it ovulation phase. The ovulation phase or the ovulation occurs when the egg is released by the ovary. So ito yung mature egg na nire-release ng ating ovary. Now the egg cell travels along the fallopian tube for about 3 to 4 days and waits for a sperm cell. In this stage, Fertilization may take place, therefore, pregnancy is possible. Tama, Tutor Love. And for our last phase, from day 19 to 28 is the luteal phase. During this period, the uterus prepares for possible fertilization and implantation by making the uterine lining grow and thicken. In this stage, hormones act on the uterus for the preparation for fertilization or pregnancy. Yes, and remember learners, if an egg is not fertilized, the uterus lining will come off from the body in the form of blood. This is typically called the monthly period. Girls can count the days, so pwede tayong magmark, pwede nating tandaan yung first cycle ng ating period so that we can be prepared for the next cycle. And before we proceed with our lesson for today, let's have first our side quest. Tignan nga natin dahil bago ang ating aralin, tignan natin kung ano ang alam ng ating mga learners pagdating sa ating topic, which is all about animals. And for our game mechanics, you will be shown a zoom-in portion of a photo. You must guess who or what you're looking at. A fun fact, about the photo subject will be given as a clue by your shooters. You have 10 seconds to answer. Yan, sabay-sabay tayong magsagot mga learners. Alright, so kung ready na, let's have picture number one. Okay, ano kaya itong picture na ito? Anong klaseng animal ito? At for the clue, ito siya. 
First, I lay egg in the water. I like to hop around. I am green, but I'm not a leaf. I have a long tongue, but I'm not a giraffe. What am I? So you have 10 seconds to answer. Again, I lay eggs in water. I like to hop around. I'm green, but not a leaf. I have a long tongue, but not a giraffe. So time's up. The correct answer is frog. Ayan. Let's have the next one. Number two. I start as a caterpillar. I go through metamorphosis. I feed on nectars, but I'm not a bee. I'm colorful, but I'm not a rainbow. What am I? Timer starts now. Again, I start as a caterpillar. I go through a metamorphosis. I feed on nectars, but I'm not a bee. I'm colorful, but I'm not a rainbow. What am I? The correct answer is butterfly. Very <laughs> good. Picture number three. Ano kaya ito? So the clue is, I bite and suck on people's blood. I am an insect, but I'm not a spider. I spread diseases, but I'm not a sneeze. I lay eggs in stagnant water during my breeding cycle. What am I? Ayan, your timer starts now. Ulitin ko, I bite and suck on people's blood. I am an insect, but I'm not a spider. I spread diseases, but I'm not sneeze. I lay eggs during my breeding cycle. So tingnan natin, the correct answer for this photo is, it's a mosquito. Alright, for our number four picture, I have legs and tails. I am your best friend. I use my nose to sniff food. I get pregnant when the heat cycle period occur. What am I? Your timer starts now. Ulitin ko, I have legs and tails. I am your best friend. I use my nose to sniff food. I get pregnant when the heat cycle periods occur. The correct answer is dog. Very good. Yes. At para sa ating panghuling picture, picture number five. Ito ang kanyang clue. I have four legs. I eat fish if you feed me. I have just one but eight to spare. I ovulate every one to three weeks with contact stage. What am I? Your timer starts now. Again, I have four legs. I eat fish if you feed me. I have just one but eight to spare. And I ovulate one to three weeks with contact stage. The correct answer, it's a cat. All right, congratulations everyone. Ayan, dahil mahusay ka kung tama ang inyong sagot. At dahil dyan, makakakuha kayo ng isang mahusay badge. Yes. Now, let's proceed. Now, we have learned that frogs, butterflies, mosquitoes, dogs, and cats are all animals. Now, the question is, how do these animals reproduce? At yan po ang pag-uusapan at pag-aaralan natin today. Animals, like any other living things, reproduce their own offspring. There are more than 1 million kinds of animals that vary in many ways. Today, we will study how some of these animals reproduce. Tama ka dyan, Shooter Maha. But before that, let's first define what is a reproduction. A reproduction is a process by which an organisms reproduce another individual or another offspring that is biologically similar to the organism. Tandaan po natin again that the reproduction is a process where plants, animals, or human beings simply multiply or produce new organisms. At kapag pinag-usapan natin ang reproduction, we have two basic types of reproduction. And what are those? Sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction. Yes, correct. And when we say sexual reproduction, 
This takes place when sex cells from two parent animals, one male and one female, unite to create a new animal through fertilization. Pag sinabi nating sexual reproduction, there is a union between two cells or gametes na tinatawag natin, the male and female sex cells. Now, examples of sexual reproductions, the animals that undergo sexual reproductions are butterflies, cats, dogs, frogs, and mosquitoes. Yes. While a sexual reproduction naman, shooter love, does mm -hmm. not need one male and one female parent to produce an offspring. For uh, example, an animal that undergo a sexual reproduction are starfish and flatworms. A single parent organism simply makes identical copies of itself. The animals mentioned above reproduce sexually, though they have different means of reproducing. Yes, tama no, Chutor Maha. Although we have two different kinds or ways of reproduction, sexual and asexual, the following animals or the animals that we were talking about will be producing through sexual reproduction at iisa-isahin natin yan sila today. The first one is what we call the butterfly or butterflies. Butterflies' way of reproduction starts in a courtship. When the male butterfly detects a female butterfly releasing a pheromone on, in a close range, when we say pheromone, ito po yung chemical na nire-release ng female butterfly. Sa close range area, madedetect po ito ng male butterfly and then the male attaches to the female butterfly's abdomen, injecting a sperm packet into her stomach that she stores until she decides to lay eggs. They will persist on courtship flight. So kung makakakita po kayo ng butterfly na magkadikit and they were flying around in a circular motion, ibig sabihin po, they are in a mating mode. This will last into an hour or more. As the eggs pass down to the female butterfly, the egg-laying tube, the sperm fertilizes them. The female butterflies can only mate once throughout their lives, while the male butterflies can mate more than once. O, di ba? Napaka-interesting naman nun. And also, a female butterfly can lay up to 100 to 300 eggs for about four days and during her life, but approximately, ito yung nakakalungkot nun. 2% lamang po ang nakaka-survive because of some environmental condition and at the same time, yung other animals also prey kasi to them. So, nagiging food din kasi sila ng ibang animals. Kaya naman, among dun sa 100 to 300 eggs, only 2% of that eggs can survive. And these eggs, yung nakasurvive na eggs, will undergo what we call metamorphosis or the life cycle of the butterfly. Ano nga ba yung life cycle ng butterfly? It starts with eggs, and then the larva, o yung caterpillar stage niya, and then the pupa, or the chrysalis, and then it will change into an adult butterfly. Ito, trivia, mga learners. Paano natin malalaman kung babae ang butterfly or lalaki ito? Ito po ang ating magiging basihan. Female butterflies have thick veins. So makikita nyo sa kanilang wings, may makapal silang ugat. And usually, female butterflies are more bigger than the male butterflies. So if you will see a butterfly, yung dalawang butterfly in a mating mode, yung mas malaki, yun daw po ang female, at yung mas maliit, yun daw po ang male. Diba? Interesting? Let's have the next one. Another example of sexual reproduction, frogs. All frogs reproduce sexually. It is outside the female's body of the frog that fertilization takes place or nagaganap ito, external fertilization, ang tawag natin dito. The female releases her eggs and therefore, the male releases his sperm at the same time. The male and female get into mating posture called amplexus. Ang amplexus na tinatawag natin 
It is by climbing onto female's back and clasp his forelegs around her middle to ensure that the sperm reach her egg. Meaning to say, pag sinabi natin amplexus, once a male frog approaches her chose mate or yung nafili niya na female frog, he will typically embrace her in a position known as amplexus. Amplexus ang tawag natin na kung saan halos akap na ng male frog yung female frog. They will stay in this position for hours or perhaps days until uh, the female releases hundreds of eggs. And did you know some frogs mate in the trees branches over a stagnant pond or even a stream? And most of their eggs are found in calm or still bodies of water to stop getting into rumble about in infancy. Usually, the eggs will hatch about 6 to 21 days after being fertilized. The gestation is approximately 33 days for frogs give birth 33 days after a successful mating. Iyan ang process ng reproduction when it comes to uh, sa ating mga uh, frogs or sa ating mga palaka. Ayan. At para naman sa another example. Alright, the next one is the mosquitoes. Ayan. Mosquitoes daw, yung kanilang reproduction begins also with a courtship, parang sa butterflies. Now, during mating, the male deposits sperm into the female through a little pouch found in her abdomen. The female sucks blood to feed the fertilized eggs. Trivia ito, mga kids, ha? Only female mosquitoes will drink or suck bloods. Ang mga male mosquitoes fed on the flowers, nectar, or even fruits. Uh, babaing lamok lang daw po ang kumakagat sa atin at sumisipsip ng dugo. Now, after mating and sucking down of some blood, the female will rest for a few days before she lays eggs in water, swamps, or anywhere with sufficient moisture. Most female mosquitoes have to get sufficient blood. Ito talaga. Kailangan daw nila makaget ng sufficient blood before she develops an eggs. So kaya pala marami talaga ang kailangan nilang dugo para makadevelop sila ng eggs. Male mosquitoes only live for a week and don't have any purpose after mating. Kaya naman, most of them talagang hindi nakaka-survive. Now, the female mosquitoes only copulate once at ang kanilang survival ay nakadepende sa kanilang environment. The female mosquito only requires the sex cell of one male for the remainder of her life to produce a few batches of eggs. Now, eggs can hatch from some days up to months after being laid. And then, they will go a life cycle, like for example, like katulad ng uh, nangyari sa butterfly, meron ding life cycle ang mosquitoes. So it starts from egg, and then the larva, and then the pupa, and then it will transform into adult mosquito. In just two to three days, the pupae transform into adult flying mosquitoes. Thus, the whole life cycle of the mosquitoes from egg to an adult stage takes approximately 8 to 10 days, kaya po pala napakabilis nilang dumami. Mosquitoes are considered the deadliest animals on earth. They may carry a number, okay? Ito po ah, they may carry a number of deadly diseases. Some of them, yung pinakakilala, yung yellow fever, malaria, and then dengue. Kaya po pala, dapat alam natin at napag-aaralan natin ito so that we can easily ma-prevent yung pagdami nila para din ma-prevent natin yung mga ganitong klasing sakit. Doon naman tayo sa man's best friend or tinatawag nating mga dogs. Dogs experience a heat cycle that lasts for three weeks. It is the period when they ovulate and might get pregnant 
which is common every 5 to 12 months. Ganun kahaba, tutor love, ang ovulation ng mga dogs. During the primary week or tinatawag natin na proestrous cycle, females vulva or the outer part of their reproductive system or organ swells and secretes blood and aromas that attract males. Doon nila naa-attract yung mga boys or yung mga lalaking aso. They act moody during this stage to both people and other dogs swinging from affectionate to snotty and appear to like to tease. They'll lift their tail to permit a sniff, but will bite the male's head if it tries to mount. Meaning to say, para din silang mga naglilihing mga tao na kapag sila ay nandun na sila sa pregnancy stage, ay nakakaroon sila ng mga moody period. And within the second week, or the estrous cycle, her vulva will be swollen, but her vaginal discharge will usually stop having visible blood in it. She will ovulate and is very ready for reproduction. Lastly, sa pangatlo nilang linggo or week 3 nila, ang tinatawag na diestrous cycle or the last stage or being in heat, ang nangyayari is the female dog has already ovulated and is losing interest in reproduction. The length of pregnancy in dogs is 61 to 65 days, usually within with an average of 63 days. This means that about 63 days after a dog is impregnated, it will have its offspring. The female dog should always be bred with a smaller male dog. Iyan naman ang pre-production na nagaganap sa mga dog. Alright, let's now have cats. Paano naman mag-reproduce o mode of reproduction ang mga cats? Now, cats, like dogs, can go into heat at any time of the year. They stay in heat for about 5 to 15 days. Cats keep going back into heat every one to three weeks until they ovulate and are likely to ovulate until it's contact with its male cat. This means that they ovulate only when they are inbred. Okay? Now, reproduction begins through the estrus o yung tinatawag natin reproductive cycle, the estrus cycle. When they reach puberty, nag-start ito when the cat reach its puberty stage. The ovulation occurs until there is contact with a male cat. When in heat, they make more noise. Ito daw ang uh, signs kapag in heat ang ating mga pusa. They make more noise. They meows, yung kanilang sound, are more louder at more frequent. Ano pa? They become more affectionate, malambing towards people and towards other cat. They weave in and out. They rub against them. They shake the, uh, their pelvis, ayan, and rolls on the floor. Tapos, isa din daw sa senyales, madalas nilang i-flag yung kanilang tail. Now, cat's pregnancy lasts about 63 to 65 days. As young as 4 months to 6 months, a female cat can have kitten. So, pwede na daw as early as 4 to 6 months can cat have kittens kasi they may undergo na into heat cycle. Ayan po. Alright. Now, butterflies, frogs, Mosquitoes, dogs, and cats all undergo sexual reproduction uh, process. Ganito sila or ganito mag-reproduce ang mga animals na ating nabanggit. Now, Chutor Maha? Tama ka dyan, Chutor Love. Tingnan natin at alamin ang natutunan ng ating mga learners. Para sa ating aghamon, presented below are pictures of animals that are capable of sexual reproduction. Match the images with the corresponding modes of reproduction being described. Ayan, imamatch lang nila kung ayong larawan na ito 
ay tugma ba dun sa modes of reproduction na ipapakita namin ni Tutor Love sa inyo? And for number one, in a mating posture called amplexus, the female releases her eggs and then the male releases his sperm at the same time. Nako, ano kayang animals ang tinutukoy sa number one? Your timer starts now. Ulitin namin, in a mating posture called amplexus, the female releases her eggs and the male releases his sperm at the same time. The correct answer? Frog. Ayan. Number two. The mating begins when the male animal detects a female animal releasing pheromone at a close range. Ayan. Ano kayang hayop or animal ang tinutukoy para sa number two? Ulitin ko. The mating begins when the male animal detects a female animal releasing a pheromone of a close range. Ayan. The correct answer for number two is butterfly. All right, it's a butterfly. Now let's have number three. For number three, the estrous cycle is present when the female of this animal gets into heat at any time of the year and is likely to ovulate until there is contact with the male animal. Ano kaya ang tinutukoy dito? Your timer starts now. Again, estrous cycle is present when the female of this animal gets into heat and any time of the year and is likely to ovulate until there is a contact with male animal. The correct answer, it's a cat. All right. For number four, a heat period that would last for three weeks is being experienced by the females of this animal. Your timer starts now. Ulitin ko. A heat period that would last for three weeks is being experienced by the females of this animal. What can be the answer? Dog. All right. And for number five, during mating, the male deposits sperm into the female through a little pouch in her abdomen. Ano kaya ang animals na tinutukoy dito? Your timer starts now. Again, during mating, the male deposits sperm into the female through a little pouch in her abdomen. The answer, mosquito. Congratulations po sa lahat na nakakuha ng perfect score. Ayan, nakatitiya kami ni Tutor Maha na talagang nakuha ninyo ang lahat ng tamang sagot. Diba, Tutor Maha? Tama, Tutor Love. At nakasisigurado tayo na may natutunan muli sila ngayong araw na ito. All right, congratulations and thank you sa inyong pagsama sa amin. Nakatitiyak ako na talagang nakuha ninyo ang tamang sagot sa lahat ng ating naging hamon for today. Again, ako po muli si Tutor Love. Maraming salamat and it's another lovely day to learn science today. Ayan, muli maraming maraming salamat sa inyo mga learners at talaga namang alam namin na kayo ay muling may natutunan ngayong araw na ito. Muli ako naman si Tutor Maha. Remember learners, sa agham, lamang ang may alam. See you next week. Bye!